everybody. Hi folks, this is NFL Week 4. Hi everyone, this is the one and only Mark Spencer. Sorry I missed Week 3, but we saw quite a few upsets in the making. Like the Miami Dolphins over the my, um, New England Patriots. That was an unbelievable game. I watched that one, couldn't believe my eyes. It's unreal, folks. I mean, football is a type of game where anything can happen any given Sunday. Just like I said, anything can happen any given Sunday. Anything can be anything. Let's look at the Buffalo Bills. For one, they are playing some of the best football I've seen for eight years. <clears throat> and trust me, it's not that easy to play the NFL. I mean, the NFL is a tough game, no doubt about it. You know, it's a week in, week out type of sport. Um, you know, every team's building up for a Sunday. I mean, you watch all the, you know, the pregame shows on Fox, CBS, ESPN. No, you watch them all. But I tell you the truth, you don't know. You know, these guys say they they think who's gonna win. You know, they go they go over the the pregame information. They go to the game. They they go to the reporters. They report on this. They report on that. But you just don't know. All these experts get paid millions of dollars to make great analytic decisions. Well, as far as I'm concerned, way I look at it this week. Okay, let's take a look at the teams that are gonna be playing today. So a couple games are gonna be underway soon. Okay, let's take a look at the teams that are playing in week four in the NFL. We got the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Carolina Panthers. You know, you look at the Carolina Panthers, they lost last week. They're looking to get a W this week. They're 2-1. and one. Same thing with the Atlanta Falcons. My money's on the Falcons. I really like what Michael Turner's doing for this team. The former San Diego Charger. You know, the backup to LaDainian Thomason for so many years in San Diego. way I look at this is who knows um can carolina's defense stop the run i think that's gonna be the key matt ryan is playing some great football he's it's his first year ever in the nfl and he's playing like he's been in the league like 10 years he is playing with such great confidence i love his confidence you know and you look at his wideouts um ronnie white um let's take a look at some of the some of the um, the rosters here, folks, <laughs> you know, depth charts or, or whatever. But, you know, I tell you, this is going to be pretty interesting this week in terms of the big-time games um, for all the fans. I mean, the fans across the NFL, man, oh, you know, they all want to, you know, they want to win. That's what it's all about. They want to win. Okay, screw that. Well, we'll move on to the other game that's going to be happening today at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, the Bengals against, you know who, the Cleveland Browns, the Cincinnati Bengals against the Cleveland Browns, the Battle of Ohio, two teams are 0-3, in my wildest dreams, I never would have thought that the Cincinnati Browns, no, the Cleveland Browns would be 0-3, they had such a great year last year, Derek Anderson, Braylon Edwards, Jamal Lewis, you know, and the rest of the gang, they did so good last year. They added a few pieces this year, but they can't find the chemistry. They can't protect their QB. Derek Anderson took a concussion in the preseason. Has never really been the same player since then. And, you know, sometimes these little nicks and knacks and injuries happen to the best of the best of us. But for the life of me, what's happened to C Cleveland? They're not the team I thought that was going to actually make some noise this year in the NFL. Maybe make it to the playoffs. Who knows? Maybe get to a Super Bowl. They're not the type of team I thought that was going to be there. So, I don't know. So, we're going to have to see what happens here. Well, my money's on the Browns. I think they will win today over Cincinnati. It looks like Cincinnati is going with their second string QB. Carson Palmer has been pushed down to third string because of an elbow injury. Um, he's inactive today, so he won't be playing. It doesn't matter what the score is. You will not see Carson Palmer today. So it's going to be the rest of the Bungles, Bengals to get a job done. TJ Hoochmanzada, Chad Johnson, a.k.a. Okay, his real name. 
Ocho Cinco, oh, come on, and uh, in the running on the running game. So it's gonna be up to those guys. Those guys got to step it up, show their leadership, play as hard as they can play. Now we look at the next game here at Jacksonville's Municipal Stadium. Um, we look at the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Houston Texans. The Texans have been playing some good football of late, but they're zero and two. They gotta somehow protect Matt Schaub. Matt Schaub has to somehow get the ball to his wide receivers. He has Andre Johnson, one of the best wide receivers in football, and you have a great running back in Amon. Amon. Oh my God, Amon. Okay, whatever. They have a great running back, the former Green Bay star. Um, you know, and uh, when you look at this team in Houston Texans, it's true here. Hurricane Ike has hit the Houston area. But where is the team? They're not playing with any confidence. They're not playing with the type of competitiveness that you expect from this Texans team. They put a lot of money into this team. And they're not showing what they're all about. <clears throat> so, you know, that's what happens. You know, that's what's going to happen. So my money's on Jacksonville. They got a big win last week. I really think David Guard's back after just some terrible games to start out the season. Bunch of interceptions. He only had three last year, and he has four to this point of the season. So I feel that David Garrard is going to step it up. Uh, my prediction: final score is going to be thirty to ten. Final score for Jacksonville, Houston Texans. For the Cleveland Browns and Bengals, I'm going to take Cleveland uh, seventeen to nothing over the Bengals. I'm taking Atlanta over the Carolina Panthers twenty to seventeen. Okay, with the 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 Denver Broncos over Kansas City, I'll go thirty to three with the Broncos over the spread, whatever. And with the San Francisco 49ers over the, I'm gonna take San Francisco over the um, new um, the Saints at home. I mean, they're playing in the Superdome and everything. They're playing in New Orleans, but I just feel that San Francisco's found their game again. Frank Gore is gonna go right through them. My money's on San Francisco, so I'll take San Francisco 29-19 to 19 over the Saints in New Orleans. So with Arizona, the big featured matchup, Kurt Warner against Brett Farr. I think the Jets are going to take this one. My final score for this game will be 20 All right, my final score for the the Jets in Arizona will be um uh, let me see hmm what would you go here uh, you know what it's gonna be a close game I think it's gonna be like twenty to twenty to fifteen twenty tw twenty to fourteen so I'll go Jets twenty to 20 to 14. It's going to be a close game. I think Warner's going to get sacked quite a few times in this game. I don't think Edgerton Doom's going to be much of a factor. I think that Quatch, um, Lavernius Coles, and Cottery, Cottery are going to be big factors. The running game, Thomas Jones is going to run right through this team. Um, uh, that's why I'm going to go with the Jets. I think Brett Farr is going to turn his game on. He might be a little sore with the ankle, but. You know, you know Brett Farr. You know, he's not going to go and lose this game today. I think, you know, he's lost two games already. And uh, I think he's going to step his game up. And I think the rest of the Jets team is going to step their game up too. Because this is what this is, this is what they brought him in for. If you really think about it. You know, this is, this is why they brought Brett Farr in. And they need Brett Farr to play the way he's capable of playing. Um, you know. That's what it is, you know. You have to step it up, and uh, with Brett Farr, anything's possible. Um, sorry, folks. <laughs> uh, I guess we're out of time here, folks. But uh, I enjoy doing this, folks. Y'all take care. For NFL Week Four, this is Mark Spencer. I want to say take care, everyone. I'll be back again next week, week five. Sorry about week three. Yeah, something just comes up.
Take care, everyone. Enjoy all your football games across North America.